So what that means is if I go down to King Supers and I grab a, an eight ounce steak from their Simple Truth line and it's never been treated with hormones, it's got no fillers in it, the animal was grass fed when it was alive. If I get that eight ounce piece of meat versus if I go down to whatever fast food place and I get a half pound burger and it, it has been hormone treated, it is full of fillers and crap and that animal probably never saw a blade of grass while it was alive. Even though those are the same size pieces of meat and theoretically they're gonna have the same amount of uh, protein, I'm gonna absorb the one from King Supers a hell of a lot better. And that's what's really important when it comes to nutrition. Not what I take in, but when, what my body can actually, actually absorb and utilize. Okay, slide. So, probably the number one question I, I ever get about performance nutrition is the anabolic window. You guys all know what I'm talking about, right? Like you've heard, uh, get your protein and carbs right after the workout. That's really important. This means yes, this means no. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so because a lot of you have asked me about this. So one of the limitations with that whole concept is that most of the studies that the supplement companies uh, cite, they utilized fasted people and then they trained them. So essentially, you sleep all night, you don't eat breakfast, you come in and train. So they were fasted, they came in, and in the gym, what do we do? We break down muscle tissue and we, we burn calories, right? Those are the two things that happen in the gym. We don't build muscle in the gym. We build muscle by eating and sleeping afterwards, okay? So they took somebody who was fasted, they broke them down even more, and then lo and behold, when they gave them some nutrition, their body responded well. If that's not the no-duh statement of the day, I don't really know what is. So what we've actually found through, through research is the anabolic window starts an hour before your workout and finishes an hour after your workout. And the reason that, the reason we say that is, <coughs> excuse me, the reason we say that is when you have ample nutri nutrients available and you go into the gym and you start breaking shit down, number one, you're going to be able to train more intensely, all right? Um, number two, you now have a ready s supply of resources for those working muscles to start the recovery process as opposed to waiting until afterwards. So you're actually starting that recovery process through the training and then right afterwards, yeah, because you trained, you're still ready, uh, ready to utilize more, we can still get that beneficial effect. So instead of having it one time, we now give it two. Does that make sense?